Let's say I'm Ben Johnson and I'm logging into SAP Concur for the first time. So Wachme is going to greet me and allow me to take a, a tour of Concur, maybe start my onboarding process. So if I take a tour, uh, notice that Wachme is going to guide Ben through the interface, let him know what all the options are here for open reports, how to do uh, trips quickly and easily. Notice that we can pull in images, videos, GIFs. We can even bring in other websites into the context, uh, the SAP P Concur Home. And then, of course, bringing up our help menu, the Walk Me help menu. And then finally, bringing it over, it clicks on tasks. This is where you start your onboarding. And notice that we've already started the tour of Concur. So this is, this is Walk Me introducing, you know, starting that onboarding process, making it very easy for the, the user to start going through and expend, you know, submitting their expense reports, uh, updating ordering office equipment, et cetera. Uh, notice when I, when I say uh, update, Direct deposit, this is something that would actually have to take you out to work day. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but this is a capability because WalkMe is an overlay technology. You can take us from SAP Concur over in a work day and back again, but we'll, we won't do that. Uh, so now what we'll do is let's say uh, I'm interested looking around here and I see uh, this new work from home policy. So if I, I click on that uh, again, but now this is you know, information says there's a new policy is coming down. It's trying to inform Ben. Uh, but note, if you if you look down in here that we need to go to service now to actually order these things. So I'll do that later. Again, I don't want to leave uh, SAP Concur yet. So let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, I see over here travel help. So you'll notice that if I click this, I'm going to have more guidance. This is, again, about trying to make it easy for the end user to do things for the first time. This is the onboarding and training case. And I didn't have to search for it in the in the help menu. It's just right there as a button. So if I click start, it's gonna tell me in, or guide me where I should put things in. So if I put DFW, I'll select that. Where would you like to land? I'd like to land in Austin. What's next? Select the departure date, obviously. Pick here and that's fine. Uh, note that this is walk me here. Do I need a visa? So if I hover over that, this is walk me bringing in information. Again, it's about not only guiding a user through a process, navigating them, if you will, but also bringing in context so they can make better decisions quicker and curating that information. But I'm ready to go. So I'm going to click search. So SAP will go and search my flights. Walk me knows this. So walk me will pause. And again, this is this is in application guidance. So the, the beauty here is that you didn't have to go through training to learn this. You know, we just kind of defer it to your, you know, when you get in just in time in the flow of work, if you will. So we're down in, Walk Me has said, okay, here's your, here's the selection. And now we're we're kind of moving towards that from we're moving up towards that process adoption that I was talking about. So it's saying, look, the preferred airlines were Delta and United, um, but because I chose DFW to Austin, uh, they don't fly in between those, those, those two cities. So, you know, nothing we can do about it. You guys are going to have to go with it. Um, but again, this is an example of WalkMe giving guidance uh, to the user. That's It's not just about the end user experience. It's also about trying to push the behavior of that end user and, and direct them to make the right choices. So let's go ahead and cancel out of this, go back to the home screen. And let me show you uh, one more thing. So here's submitting an expense report. So now instead of travel, we're going to do expense reports. And of course, this is searchable. So if I say submit, uh, I could auto submit. Uh, again, this would demonstrate some of our automation. Um, let's try to submit expense report. Again, it's uh, click expenses here. And I think you've heard WalkMe being described as a GPS, right? So it's not just going from you know the beginning to the end. It's understanding where you are in that process. So if I stop this, you'll notice when I stop it, this is another feature that you can build into the product, which is, hey, we noticed that you stopped the guidance. Is anything we can do to help improve it? Okay, so we'll, we'll get back to that later. I won't do that yet. But if I run that again, submit an expense report, I would hope that it wouldn't make me you know, go back to the beginning. It should, like a GPS, understand where I am and, and start off from there, which indeed it does. So I'm going to start, click on the new report. It's going to actually auto fill the name. So again, guidance, and now we're adding some automation and a little bit of governance here. We're trying to enforce a naming convention. So I'm going to ignore it. You'll notice when I delete that, uh, I, I can change this report to uh, Miami. But if I, if I try to leave it, 
it's still going to sit there and go, look, would you please fill it out? So I got to put in that dash, you know, and, and go fun, fun times. Okay. That's the report name. Then now I get to the business purpose. And here's another example of either, you know, enforcing it or giving you suggestions, right? This could be standard things based on what you've been doing. Let's say we're all at SCO last week, you know, giving us something to make it easier, just auto typing in that for us. Okay. So we have some guidance, a little bit of governance and automation to improve that experience. So I'll go ahead and I'll submit that report. And then what's next? Add an expense. So again, it's taken us all the way through. Okay. Select the expense type. And yeah, I think you get what's, what's going on here. We can keep going, but now this is walk me actually augmenting kind of the information that you're looking for as you're entering this. So it's not just a standard taxi, maybe it's Uber. So if I click that, it'll put in the vendor name, put in my trip purpose. So notice it, it remembered what that was and, and loaded in here and going with the dates. So I'll go ahead and stop that. Again, uh, they want to know why we're stopping if that's okay. Uh, and come back to... Here, uh, I will make some comments. We do have a higher level uh, automation, which we call the action bot. And in here, you know, it's it's basically like a chat bot, but the beauty is WalkMe can gather information and then based on that information, go off and drive the process for you automatically. Go through the various forms, type things in uh, and stop where, wherever it is that you need to stop. So in this case, you know, submitting a monthly expense report. I won't do it because it goes uh, a long way. I'm going to show another example of that uh, later. So finally, I do want to go back to this work from home policy. So I looked at it and said, all right, we've got a new expense policy. I can spend it for 300 bucks for my home office. You know, let's get started. So I guess it's going to bring me to ServiceNow. So if I click on that, WalkMe will actually take the end user over to ServiceNow. You'll notice that it's graying out items that aren't available to that user. So it's another key capability of WalkMe is it curates the content based on the user, say their role, their group, uh, their behavior. So it's serving up information designed specifically for each user. So I'll go ahead and select the monitor. Okay, so as I click the cart, so I'm clicking that. And then I've got 200 in. Um, would I like to select another item? I could if I wanted to, so I got more, but I'll say, no, I'm done. So now walk me, we'll go ahead and submit it for us. I am a full-time remote worker. So put in my, my home address. And should be good. Check out. Now note, once we finish this in service now, it's going to bring me back into SAP Concur. And better than that, it's going to say, okay, now you need to, you, uh, you need to do an expense report for what you just just purchased. So, okay. So now it's, again, it's going to guide me through this process. And you'll notice that it's clicking. It's, it's doing a lot of this automated uh, automation because it knows what the expense report is. It's the work from home equipment. So again, this is now getting back to that user experience, trying to make things as efficient uh, and easy as possible. Notice how it's filling out all these fields and getting it ready to go. So, you know, review the details, click save. Uh, here's another example of well, what if I want to check my form? Okay, so it, it got me here, walked me through the whole process across both of these systems, you know, filled out the form for me, and maybe I decided not to do anything else. Let me just do a quick check. It's like, oh yeah, I got to do the expense amount. You know, I, I would have figured that out when I tried to submit it, but walk me just making it that much easier, again, guiding people through. And again, remember, walk me's content can be curated based on not only who you are in your role but also you know, how you're behaving. Are you making mistakes you know, from a business standpoint? Do you need help, whereas other people don't? WalkMe can track that and then provide that help uh, when and if necessary. Okay, so here's some, again, examples of what, what I call soft guidance. So it's WalkMe trying to nudge you, it's trying to make things easier, trying to you know, make the experience better so that people learn the product, learn SAP Concur more rapidly. If they forget things, that's okay because that guidance is always in there. It's always in the application and the flow of work. It's trying to help with that support. Um, but it's also, you know, trying again to try to enforce policies and procedures. And so far it's it's been gentle, right? You can always opt out, you can click out. So I want to show you just a couple examples of 
of a, a little, I'll call it hard guidance, okay? So I'm gonna bring in another version of Concur. This ha happens to be a different instance of WalkMe, so it's got things a little bit different. Uh, before I show you the, the hard governance that we built into, into this model, I do wanna just comment once on the that ongoing change management. Something as simple as, you know, where is that button? Remember that button right here, which is where WalkMe, all the information was, where you could search and get help. Well, you notice in this other version, uh, it is no longer there, right? It's not there. So what do you do? So we've configured, this is actually real. We've configured this in our system. And this is how uh, Concur User Assist by WalkMe works. They moved from that widget or that icon up into the menu. So when a user first logs in, they're greeted with what? This little notification. So this is change. This isn't your brand new user. This is something in the interface has changed. Maybe it's a new feature, maybe a button moved, you know, why I call the support desk to go, well, what's going on? How do I, how do I get to the uh, walk me menu? Well, walk me will show you how to get to the walk me menu. And it's up here in the help menu. And there it is. It's on in the explore interactive help menu item. Okay. Uh, so it's just an example of, of change management in walk me very simple, but very powerful. Uh, this is, this is walk me. You'll notice it's a little bit different. The chatbot's a little bit different. Got a few other features in here. Uh, that are interesting. This is a little more art of the possible. Uh, here's an example of where you can change kind of what the level of information is that comes at you. So that's that's something that you can build into the product. Okay, we set the volume to high. If I go back and bring that up again, uh, we can pull in information like you know your travel preferences. You know, Dallas is my city, and my passport number is is whatever it is. Uh, and it's going to load this into WalkMe. And you're saying, well, that's great. You know, SAP Concur can save that information too, which it can. But the beauty of WalkMe, remember, is it can keep this information and use it in any application and move it around. So it can use it in SAP Concur, but it could also use it in ServiceNow if, if you needed to or, or any other system that you're interacting with during your onboarding experience. And then finally, the, uh, the chatbots. Let's do this simpler version. Uh, I want to show you that our chatbot can also create these little mini forms. Again, WalkMe is not here to replace any of the SAP Concur UI. It's just trying to make things quicker and easier. And if you have a case where, hey, just give a couple of pieces of information because of who you are, uh, the rest of the information is always the same. Let WalkMe handle it for you, right? So let's uh, we'll call this the uh, Apollo report. And this will be, uh, you know, one step to man. Okay, and we go, and now we'll pick up that automation. Walk me should bring us through the report. You've seen this before. Enter in the uh, the name, enter in the purpose, and then add expense. Okay, now here's here's a couple of uh, of cases, kind of advanced uh, behavior, if you will, guidance. So I'm going to go ahead and add an expense. And when I come in, I'm going to pick miscellaneous. And most, you know, most of the time, we don't want people using miscellaneous, so they don't have to. So what WalkMe can do here is, is flip it and kind of create a decision tree, ask questions that will help, help us understand what the correct choice should be. So in this case, we'll say it's, it's just me to receive the goods. Was it uh, related to travel? Yes, it was. Was it hotel, airport, you know? hotel and not, it should be a hotel expense. And then you itemize it as miscellaneous. So again, it's about driving better input, right? Better data quality, um, because it's not always easy. Not everybody understands what they should be choosing. Not everyone goes to the, the manual, watches the video again. So here's a way of transforming that, bringing it or that context into, into walk me and, and making it easy to guide the individual to make the right choice. So that's behavior. Let me go back to the hard guidance that I wanted to show you. So if we go to the open reports, this is an example. So we've got uh, day's expenses, eight bucks. If I go in here, you're going to notice something. This submit report got grayed out. This is actually walk me graying out that button. So if I try to submit it, walk me is going to say, you know what? We've got a policy. It's you don't submit this report until you have $20 or more. Now, of course, if you want an exception, call your supervisor. Uh, they could unlock you, but this is walk me trying to, in a little little stronger fashion, enforce some of those policies uh, and procedures so that you no, know, again, to to get people doing the right thing to drive and impact behavior. 
So before I'll close, I'll give you one interesting part of the possible here. We'll explore this. And it will be new hire acknowledgements. So this is just something that was built into the WalkMe UI. You know, hey, we'd like you to read the following document. WalkMe has the ability, obviously, to bring up videos and documents. So we're just leveraging that, but we were creative. I said, okay, you know, read the code of conduct and ethics, and then I acknowledge or or I don't. Okay, so we're, we're leveraging kind of the walkthroughs of WalkMe, the capability to show content. And then this will be tracked in WalkMe's insights. And I, I mentioned that at the beginning. Everything I've done, all the interaction with WalkMe's content is being logged in our backend, in our analytics, and we can serve that up to uh, inform you of what's being used, what's not being used, where people are going, where the friction is, et cetera. We also log all of the activity going on in SAP Concur. So if you want analytics at that level of what features are or aren't being used without interaction with WalkMe, we can do that. And again, all of the, the purpose of all that is to help inform what we build in that action phase to what provide this content.